in your hometown station, KHTS. 98.1 FM, AM 1220. Good morning. It's the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Got some special guests in the studio in just a second. But first this. Got to look at traffic. Go. As we do every single day, every 10 minutes on the 8th. Right here in your hometown station, KHTS. It looks a little bit better than it had, especially for the 14, although we have a new problem on the 14 right at the 5. Carpool Lane is blocked with a brand new fender bender. It is still bumper to bumper, but only to just about Placerita. So on, honestly, that's not bad for this time of the morning. Southbound side of the 5 is bumper to bumper into the 14. We've got a crash and some late working Caltrans near the 210, so you got to get past that. Once you do, things look better. Unless you transfer into the 405 because now we have an accident on the 405 at Devonshire. Carpool Lane is blocked. That's traffic on your hometown station, KHTS. All righty, let's check your weather for today. The rain is gone for a couple of days. It should be back on Sunday. However, it's going to be a partly sunny day with highs only in the upper 50s. Some clouds overnight with lows in the 40s. Currently 52, mostly cloudy right here in New Hall. The Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Your hometown station. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. It is 810 as promised. Guest in the studio, Mike Terry. Mike Terry, say present. I'm taking roll call. <laughs> Mike Terry. I'm here, I'm here and I'm happy to be here. Mike Terry. Uh, Mandy Romick. Good morning. And Emily mm, is back from yesterday. Yes. Home I link. You, Tori. Home link pros. Yes, you did. <laughs> Actually, we missed you too. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Yes. Um, we have uh, home link pros. We were talking about solar yesterday. We're going to talk about it a little today. We're going to talk about the environment. We're going to talk about a lot of things today. But first things first, homelinkpros.com is where you go if you want to hook up with these guys. And they, I have to tell you, for a solar company, these guys are fun. I don't know if that's the norm out there, you guys. It's not. We're the funnest. <laughs> no, <laughs> right, Emily? It Google it. Funnest. But just, but just for a solar company, like if we were ice cream that's salespeople, right. not fun. then you would say we were horribly unfun. <laughs> so right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so all, it's, it's all relative. Is that where we're going? That's right. right. Uh, so uh, if you want to follow along, we are uh, on Facebook Live right now. We are streaming live at KHTS Radio. We'll give you all the phone numbers you need, all the websites you need at the end. It is homelinkpros.com. And Mandy, you handed me all this information, which was really, really cool. I want to talk about um, all these things we can do. The whole point of solar is to uh, cut back on the electric. We use a lot of electric, and this way we can make our own. And the investment is not like it used to be. I spoke with Emily about this yesterday and Mike last week. Uh, the, the initial investment is not like it was 10, 12 years ago. Things have evolved, and things have evolved to, for the better as far uh, as far as your startup a lot less cumbersome as it was so the whole point is to save electricity what else can we do uh, to help ourselves in this situation mandy i think tori that's one of the things that we try to do to separate ourselves from other companies out there is not just give you cheaper electricity but also help you learn how to use less and there's a lot of things that people are doing that they don't realize is really using more energy than necessary uh-oh uh-oh right uh-oh i have a, i just i have a feeling i'm gonna be on this list we were talking about this this morning is you know my husband and i really want to go in the spa tonight right and mm. we talk about keeping the spa going keep it heated all the time and that was one of the things that mandy yeah. wanted to talk about uh -oh. is, is how that just sucks up so much we just don't realize so what's expensive happening. yes but it's worth it okay. so there's a few so there's thousands of things that you can do that mm -hmm. cost little or no money okay and so we picked out some of the biggest killers for people Got so it. we could help them. Got it. So one of the ones is people who drive an electric car. Okay. It's starting to become really popular. Electric cars and solar go hand in hand. If you have to pay to charge your car at your house, you're going to want to do it for as cheap as possible, right? So a few things that you can do with that would be to plug your car in at night and then making sure that um, if you're going to charge a regular vehicle at home, you're going to want to upgrade your electric plug to a 220 plug. Most people, like, I have an electric car that I charge on a 110, and it takes twice as long and uses more energy. Really? And so See, it doesn't even charge all Okay, so mm -hmm. right off the bat, n didn't know this. Right. Yeah. Right off the bat. Right. So we're going to want to change out. So we call we call the electrician to do this? Yeah. Well, it, I mean, <laughs> no, no, you call thing, us. Right? No, I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> easy, easy fix. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, one of the other ones is um, pools. So we added a pool at our house. Uh -huh. Our house was already full with solar. 
There sure. was no more solar we could add. She's so fancy. And, uh, my All entire life solar. I've been waiting for this pool. <laughs> um, and we found out that a pool is actually an incredibly huge use of electricity. The, the bigger um, the pool, the more it costs to the clean pool it. Pump. The pump. I was going to say oh, the yeah. pump and the creepy crawler thing. Yep. Is that what we're talking about? Yep. Okay. It just uh-huh. kills it. Mm-hmm. And most pool people want your pool to be clean every time they come. And so your pool is usually set to clean and filter for more hours than what's really necessary. So a lot of people, if you look at your pool pump right now. I'm sorry, what? Right? <laughs> your pool pump is probably set right now to clean for six to eight hours. And you could probably get away doing it in three to six hours. What? So just changing the, um, the number of hours that your pool filters, especially in the winter. Your pool can filter way less hours in the winter time when it's not hot outside. You could save $200 a year or more just by lowering the hours of how much you filter the pool. I'm or, hoping I'm hoping my husband hears this right now and goes out to <laughs> right? the, the timer on the yes, right. a timer up, out on the he, on the he pump. He should fix it immediately. Yep. Or another idea, come with me here. Don't clean the pool. <laughs> Let it be green. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> just very natural. Just that do that. Empty it out. Fill it with way cement. To save. <laughs> hence, hence the fun people uh, at the solar company. See what I mean? Um, um, that's a that's huge. Yeah. I don't I don't think <laughs> we knew that, and I think um, because here's here's why. If a pool guy comes and he says, "Hey, this has to be on yep. for eight hours," well, who am I to tell him? What do exactly. I know? Exactly. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I'm not a pool person. I don't know chemicals. I tr- I have to trust. Right. But if you do your research, mm-hmm. and clearly we didn't. Right. Until uh, Mandy came along. Okay. Every pool guy's hating me right now. I'm sorry. No, but, but you know what? Here's, it's just so expensive. <laughs> here's here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's not about it's not about hating. It's about working together. Right. If we all sure. just work together, mm-hmm. because uh, you know maybe it, it'll be a little uh, less clean. They you know use a little bit more elbow grease to clean it the next time they're they're here. But if people understand and trust them that they'll do the right thing, right. they'll get more business. It's about trust. Right. There's It's it works hand in hand. So I recommend putting your pool for three hours. Okay. And then adding an hour. Hmm. It, as needed. Mm-hmm. If you're not seeing your pool get green or slimy, it's got plenty of time to filter. Gotcha. Right there. Like huge savings for anybody on the call right now. Which gotcha. Would be awesome. um, and another one that I think that's a big hot button for everybody mm-hmm. are air conditioners, Ugh, right? Yeah. We spend over 50% of our total electricity costs in the months of July, August, and September. And so the way that our rates are structured with the utility company make that even more painful because the rates are higher in the summertime and we use more energy. So there's some simple things that you can do to save that money right away. So one of them would be um, where your thermostat is actually located. If your thermostat is in front of a window or in a room that nobody sits in, it's getting a temperature read off of something that's completely irrelevant to what your comfort level is, or you're setting your thermostat to a temperature that it will never actually achieve. So a lot of people go, oh man, it's so hot in here, and they'll set it to 72. The chances of an entire house getting down to 72 degrees in the summertime is pretty unlikely. Watch me. I can do it. <laughs> Test me. Challenge accepted right? on Emily, right? I can do it. She has solar, so she just goes crazy. <laughs> That's true. I have yeah. solar. So um, if you put it at a more reasonable temperature, then the air conditioner will actually click on and off throughout the day rather than running constantly. Gotcha. And that's where your bill starts to add up. Mm-hmm. So it's recommended that you leave your thermostat at 78 degrees and put ceiling fans in the rooms that you hang out in. So you can get a really awesome ceiling fan at Home Depot for like 180 bucks that you can set the thermostat on that and it'll just go crazy in the room that you're in and make that 78 degrees with your air conditioner go so much further. Mm -hmm. And you can run a ceiling fan like that for an entire month nonstop and it would cost the same as running your air conditioner for 10 hours. Fantastic. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy nuts. Yeah. How, however, Mike, we could do all of these things and go nuts like Emily <laughs> if we just call you and we put the solar panels right. on Eli the like house. Emily, go solar. <laughs> go that, crazy solar. Is go that, crazy. Is that our new slogan? Um, no. Do as Emily does? Is it's, that? It's, it's go crazy, go nuts, go solar, I guess. <laughs> but the, another thing about air conditioning, and people really don't think about this one, is when you leave for a vacation, like turn it off. Right or set it very high, like eighty-five. Mm-hmm. My neighbors next door. Hey, Jen. Uh, they left. They went on vacation, <laughs> and the whole time they were gone, I could hear the air going. Right, oh, like all yeah. night long, the air is going, and it Jen. probably cost a hundred dollars. Oh, no. yeah. Right to Jen, leave the air Jen, conditioning Jen, on. Jen, Come on, Jen, Jen, pull it together. Get it together, Jen. Jen. Why'd you do that? That's why we we offer for our customers to the um, Nest smart thermostats mm-hmm. for that exact reason. I don't think people do it intentionally. You walk away and you go, dang yeah. it, did I leave the coffee pot on? Oh my gosh, what about the air conditioner? Mm-hmm. And so the, your ability to hop on your phone and control your whole house from your phone, that's what's really cool is being able to work with that to help lower your energy costs as well. 
This is amazing. You guys are are truly amazing. Not only are you fun, but you're giving us some insight on what we need to do, what we can do right now while we're thinking about getting solar. And going solar is clearly uh, the way to go because although these are all fantastic ideas and what we can do now, Mandy, that you brought to the table, uh, there are those days where we're like Emily and we want the air conditioning going all the time. Right. Uh, And we're going to be like Jen the neighbor who leaves it on Mm -hmm. accidentally, right? And If we only have solar, guess what? That wouldn't be a big deal now. Right. Right? So that's the next step. Yeah. You need to contact these people. They're amazing. I love them all. They're so much fun when they come in. We are talking to Mike Terry, Mandy Rami, and Emily from HomeLink Pros. HomeLink Pros. It's HomeLinkPros.com if you want to go online. What's the best number? Is your office open? The the fun new office that we love so much near Bob's? It is. Finest office. It's so great. (laughs) It's near Bob's Country Meats, right? It's in the same center as Bob's Country Meats. And DW Cookie. We got some. Yes, we talked about. from DW Cookie yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Talk about perfect location. I mean, seriously, perfect location location and my manicurist is in that uh, shopping That's center as well and. so uh, we all know where that is perfect location uh, can people drop by yet is it finished or not yet yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. would love visitors okay uh, so go see them homelinkpros.com uh, get an estimate talk to these guys see what you need to do it is not as scary as you think no. it is not as scary it's fun it's actually fun and these people are fun too so much fun and we'll talk to you guys soon yeah yes. you'll be in next week Thanks maybe for having us. okay yeah. all right